Hello guys, today I'm back with another clinical case. And guys, this clinical cases that I keep on discussing with you guys is uh, keeping in mind your next exam, which is going to happen. So I want you guys to have some practice before that next exam as to how MCQs would be asked so that you can orient yourself, right? So here, the case that I've chosen for today, guys, is a case of chronic alcoholic, 65 years old. He was admitted to the emergency department because of disorientation. Amnesia, confusion, bizarre behavior for the past 24 hours. Abdomen appears tense with prominent veins, ascites, and a musty pungent odor was noted in his breath. Neurological signs were nystagmus, adexia, and asterixis. He was recently started on a drug, right? Which of the following drugs most likely trigger the patient's syndrome? Right, guys. So your options are astazolamide, nifedipine, lozartan, timolo. Take your time, pause the video, try to find the answer, comment the answer, guys. Then come back and see if you are right or if you are wrong, why you are wrong, right guys. So I hope you have solved these questions, you have commented the answer. Now let us try to find out the answer, let us try to analyze. Because here, the patient is chronic alcoholic is one clue for you guys. And this chronic alcoholic is having these symptoms, you can see here, prominent veins, ascites, musty odor. And these are nothing guys. These are nothing, but these are because of cirrhosis of liver, right? So he's having, right, prominent veins and ascites, and these are because of liver cirrhosis. And guys, uh, liver cirrhosis because of which there are variceal varices, and these varices are because of cirrhosis. So chronic alcoholic having cirrhosis. What has happened after I started on a drug? After I started on a drug, what happened to this patient, guys? After we started this patient on a drug. He had neurological signs, and one of these neurological signs suggestive of nystagmus, ataxia, astrocytis. These are suggestive of encephalopathy. So, what has happened here? Just imagine, chronic alcoholic suffering from liver cirrhosis. He develops encephalopathy because I started the patient on a particular drug, which means what? This is a clinical case asking you. Which of the following drugs can precipitate hepatic encephalopathy in a patient of liver cirrhosis? Now many of you can guess the answer. What is the answer, guys? See, guys, here the answer is astazolamide. The answer is astazolamide. Why, why astazolamide is the answer? Because what happens with carbonic anhydrase inhibitors? See, whenever I start the patient on a class of drug called as carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, what happens? All the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. They can block excretion of ammonia, right? So in, in your body, they can increase ammonia, right? And you know, ammonia is toxic to the brain. And this ammonia, which is toxic to the brain, will increase the risk of, will increase the risk of hepatic, encephalopathy so this is what has happened in this patient guys the risk of hepatic encephalopathy has increased because of combining carbon carbonic anhydrase so which means what carbonic anhydrase inhibitors they are absolutely contraindicated in patients of liver cirrhosis right guys so this is your takeaway point liver cirrhosis never prescribe carbonic anhydrase inhibitors so you can understand here why the answer is estazolamide so guys this was the clinical case for today and this is what we have to discuss, guys. Right? So be prepared for your next exam, which is about to come the coming times. And guys, I hope you guys are getting benefited from these clinical cases that keep posting every week. So this is all for today, guys. I'll see you next week on the another side with another new brand new clinical question for your next exam and USM. Bye bye, guys.